So in choosing where we're going to put our bolt, uh, the location first of all is relative to the situation in which we're putting these bolts in. So this bolt's going to be on a traverse uh, and this particular anchor we want at about waist height. This area of rock is pretty flat, there aren't any uh, protrusions, rock protrusions which could limit the, the ability of a carabiner to, to lie flat against the wall. So that's good. The rock itself overall looks pretty solid. Uh, but we need to make sure that there aren't any obvious cracks, such as this one down here, uh, or any potential sections of rock which could, could peel away if the bolt was loaded. Um, once we've had a look at that, it's all pretty solid. You can also tell to an extent by the colour of the rock. That's also often a good, a good indication of how solid rock is. But the real ultimate test is to take a, a suitably um, or sufficiently heavy hammer and just give the rock a tap. And the ring that you can hear from that is pretty solid. Conversely, if the rock wasn't solid, so we have a look at some rock now. That's quite a distinctive difference in sound. So rock. So that's a good indication. We might want to also just have a bit of a tap round the whole area to make sure it's not just an isolated pocket of good rock. Uh, and then once we've done that, we're pretty sure that the that this area is going to be sufficiently competent to, to take our anchor. From there, uh, it's really a matter of then drilling our hole. The type of bolt we're going to install today is a fixed A ring. Uh, this type of bolt requires a bevel, beveled slot for the ring to be countersunk into the face. And according to manufacturer's instructions, it also needs to be the hole that, which takes the anchor needs to be angled slightly downwards. So, get our drill bit, make sure that the alignment of the drill bit relative to the rock face is straight on. It's 90 degrees here, it's not at an angle. And we want to put a slight downwards angle on the hole. So I'm just going to feather the drill bit just to get the bit to bite. As mentioned earlier, fixate bolts need to have a, a slot, a beveled slot made in the rock to actually countersink the ring. The best way or one way that I find that's easy to work out where we need to start the top of the slot is to drill the hole into which the anchor sits sufficiently deep enough such that you can place the bolt in, put it in the alignment of the load that it's going to take. And then if you look across the top of the anchor itself, and look back onto the rock face behind and sort of take a mental snapshot of where the top of the, the anchor is. You can then pull the anchor out, place the bit at that particular spot. Again, feather the drill so that you can get the bit to bite. And then once you've done that, you've got your top mark. So we'll just put the, the anchor back in. That gives you a pretty good indication of where we need to start angling this top hole down. Now we need to get the bottom part done. Notice that this ring is actually welded. Again, according to Fixo Manufacturer's instructions, the weld needs to be on the uppermost part of the hole at the point at which this bolt is glued. And there is a very slight difference in terms of the actual sort of profile of the bolt. So we need to make sure that when we create the beveled slot, it's with the welded section on the uppermost part. ready to be brushed out and cleaned.
this uh, stage of the installation we need a, a blowout tube some people just use a piece of plastic tube but you can kind of get a bit of moisture in that from your breath after a while so it's sort of blowout tube made by Hilti or something similar it's pretty useful it's best to stand to one side because obviously once we inject air in it's going to blow out, out all the drill cuttings pump it a few times just to get the the uh, loose cuttings out. Then we just take a, uh, a sort of test tube cleaning type brush. And it's just a matter of brushing the inside of the hole. You can see there's some drill cuttings coming out. And really cleaning this until such a point in time that we don't get any more remnant dust coming out of the hole when we blow it. Some, some manufacturers advocate a minimum amount of times that you actually use the brush to clean the hole. I sort of personally prefer to um, combine that recommendation along with a um, very obvious visible sign that there is no more dust, uh, just for thoroughness. So we've uh, cleaned that several times. Holds nice and uh, clean. This stage, just get any dust off the anchor, clean it up, and then place it back in the hole, making sure that the weld is upright. That bolt's now ready to be glued. Never, 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 never had to be alone. No, no.